Jonathan Cannons here from Massive Gold Blueprint, and this is a first look at Blizzard's brand new remote auction house app and web interface that has just gone into beta, just meaning it came out yesterday, May 19th. And this is uh, pretty exciting. It looks to be very good for pipeline players, especially. These are uh, people using my blueprint method and following the Massive Gold Blueprint. And I'll just mention as I get started here that uh, for my Massive Gold Blueprint members, I've got a much more detailed and lengthy video demo of Remote Auction House as it stands right now. That's there for you in the Updates module of the Massive Gold Blueprint Members Area, Module 13. So go check it out there once you're done looking at this quick overview I'm doing. Now, what you're looking at on screen right now, this is a character I've just rolled to uh, try out the beta. And uh, the beta is actually uh, only available currently on 20 US servers. Uh, here's a list of the servers that are available. And at the top, I've got a URL here that shows you where you can get this uh, the, the page on the armory, within the armory, where uh, Blizzard describes the functions and what this is all about, and then there are FAQs linked to that. You can also, of course, download as a beta the iPhone iTouch app as well. So in order to get started here, I just I rolled uh, a character on Scenarian Circle server, and uh, I, I just this is following the uh, startup method from uh, the Massive Gold Blueprint, where you know you can sort of do a gold speed run, is what I call it where you can uh, kickstart and get yourself up to about 30 to 50,000 gold in 30 days. And uh, I won't go on at length about that, but here is uh, the result after half an hour. I've uh, sold four auctions um, on my character in Stormwind, level 5 tune, and uh, he's come up with four or five gold here, as you can see. All right, so this functions out of the armory. That's where I am right now, and there's a new tab in the armory which uh, it says Auction House. That's right here. So you see there's a summary, browse auctions, and so forth. So what I'm looking at right now is the summary. And that shows you that I've got 4 gold 65 in gold earned. And then you see there are tabs for browsing, bids, my current auctions, and then creating auctions. So I'll just click on my auctions and that's where you see what I've sold. So all of the auctions that I posted last night have in fact sold. The features and functions are pretty uh, cool. Let me just show you what Blizzard intends with this. Here's their uh, page. I showed you the URL for this a moment ago. Let me just pop it up there again. If you want to go look at this, it's at wowarmory.com forward slash wow dash remote dot XML. And so they show you all the features. So it's a $3 a month paid service. And you can see there's a whole pile of stuff for free. So this is all the monitoring and things like that. Very helpful. Go have a look at these features. But here's the stuff that you get by paying a monthly fee, three bucks. You can get to bid on auctions, buy out auctions, create auctions, collect gold, and so forth. So in fact, you know, following the blueprint method, for instance, which is a pure auction house method, you can pretty much do everything uh, within this application and hardly ever go into the game, except that there's a limit on the number of transactions. So during beta, it's limited to 25 real transactions. That means doing a bid, doing a buy, doing a create an auction. Those are all transactions. So you're limited to 25 of those during beta, and they're anticipating, Blizzard is anticipating it's going to be 200 as a daily limit on the paid service. And so that's going to uh, alleviate most of the problems I could have imagined with, uh, you know, abuse of this system by, uh, well, any number of different methods. So I'm fairly happy about that. What I want to do is just show you how all this works in, uh, in real life, so to speak, as it stands in the beta right now. So you can see that I've got, uh, for example, I can claim gold for any of these auctions, or I can claim all of the gold. So let me show you the browse functionality, which is uh, probably one of the key things that you're going to be able to use this for. Here you can see I'm browsing right now for linen cloth. So there's a, a search box right here, like you would see in the live auction house in the game. You can also search by categories. So if I wanted to look at 
all herbs, for instance. I would go to trade goods, and then I could pull down herbs. Very easy to use interface, and then there's no further level of sorting available. So if I hit search, I'll get uh, a list of herbs in the auction house. Now here's one of the basic limitations I'm seeing right now. It shows 200 results at a time as a maximum. So if you just do a search for herbs, it's a fairly useless search because it's just going to show you some 200, I think probably based on uh, posting time. And uh, although I'm not certain of exactly how it sorts them. And uh, so within those 200 results, the sorting is accurate. So there's a bunch of sort tabs here. You can sort by the bid price, low to high or high to low, bid price per item, buyout price, buyout price per item, and probably the most useful is buyout price per item. So I sort it on that, and so if I hover over each item, it'll show the buyout price per unit. It's actually showing the full stack buyout, and then you can bid on it or you can buy it out. So this is a stack of one for uh, one silver 91. This is a stack of two fade leaf at 20 silver for the stack, so you can see that the buyout price per unit is 10 silver, and it's sorting on that. So 10 silver, 10 silver, 10 silver. These are 25 silver for a stack of 20 silver leaf at five gold. That's 25 silver per item. So it all works nicely, but it it's kind of bogus because since we're looking at a category that has way more than 200 listings, we're only seeing some some choice of 200, and, and so it's not that useful. Where it gets useful then is if you type in mage royal, let's say a given herb. And let's see how many results. So there are only 17 results. So now you're getting a completely accurate sort of everything in that group. So again, I'm hovering over it, and I get uh, you know one gold silver is the lowest per item price goes to 110, three gold per. So uh, all very useful. Then of course I can bid and I can buy out uh, to the extent that I have cash on this character, right? Okay, so that's how the browsing works. Um, so it's all pretty functional and it's it's useful. Let me show you actually operating in the auction house. So if I go to uh, my auctions, I need to get some gold. This is a tune I literally just rolled. I spent half an hour uh, killing uh, some humanoids doing the startup quests, got myself about two silver, and then went to the vendor in, uh, silver, in Stormwind and bought a couple of Mage Royal, a Wild Steel Bloom, and then I picked up from the fishing supplies vendor that for 60 copper I got the uh, recipe for small brilliant small or for brilliant small fish. So you see I got some gold. I'm going to claim that gold. So that gives me uh, nearly a couple of gold on hand. I've got one gold 84. Now I want to buy something. So I was looking at linen cloth a minute ago. I'm browsing auctions now. Let me go back to linen and search. And I have to reset actually. So there's a reset to clear the tr the categories I had set up. So let's go linen cloth. And then let me, uh, well, let's see. This is four purse per piece. This is five per piece. Five per piece. Well, I'm just going to go for it I, just to give a demo. So I'm, it's not very favorable, but I'm just going to do a buyout. So I'm buying a stack of four. And now if I go to, let's see how quickly this works. If I go to create auctions, okay, I had six before. Now I've got 10, and it's, that's including what's in the mailbox. If I look in the mailbox, that's what I just bought. And in my bags, I have another six. But to create this auction, I can actually just combine right out of the mailbox and my bags all of the linen cloth and sell a stack of 10. And so here's the interface for posting an auction. And you can see my competition down below this shows similar auctions. So 540 is the per price. I'm going to put up a stack of 10 at a price of uh, 520. And for post it for 12 hours, it shows my deposit is 18 copper. Create the auction. And there I've created an auction. So now if I go to my uh, summary, my auctions, now I have one up for sale, no bids on it yet, of course. And that's as simple as that. This is how it all works. It's going to be useful. And I'll have more thoughts in another video on who this is good for and how to use it best.